Today we are at the beautiful Montague Orchard in Narriwarren North. I'm joined by Angela Bracken, who's been on Farm to Fork many a time, so a lot of you will recognise her. Angela, you do some amazing things here with apples, with plums, with lots of stone fruit, but today I think we're talking about my favourite, one of the the great apples that you guys grow here. We're going to do a dish with envy. It's, it's one of the great apples, right? Absolutely, and welcome. It's so Thanks lovely so to have you and the team here. Envy is what we call the ultimate apple yeah. experience because it has it all. So it's great to be cooking with it today. It's got that lovely texture, that beautiful flavour and that lovely red skin, which we love. It does, and the flesh itself stays wider for longer, so that's one of its real sort of selling points. Too. That makes it one of the best cooking apples you guys grow, to be honest. Totally. And it, it's yeah. almost year-round, which is also yes, that's brilliant. It. We love that. So what I thought we'd do today, a bit of a spin on like that classic chicken Kiev, like yeah. one of those classic dishes. We're going to make a smoked cheddar and apple stuffed chicken breast. Mm. I, I love the way that apple, especially these beautiful, bright, crunchy apples go so well with smoked cheddar. Yeah. So I have apple on a, a cheese board quite a lot. So I thought we'd put that into a chicken breast and have that nice gooey, oozy filling when you cut into a, a beautiful crumb chicken breast. So we're going to make good. the stuffing first. And Angela, I'm going to put you to work, as we sure. always do. Do you want to grate that, that top envy there? That looks mm -hmm. like a beauty to me. If you grate that for me, yeah. nice, uh, nice fine grate. I've got, uh, I've got a couple of chicken breasts here that I've, um, I've just trimmed up and I've just cut a little pocket in there, like you would when you're making a chicken here, to put right. that stuffing in. So okay. it's a little trick, but it's going to help keep all that stuffing inside yep. of our chicken breast. And while you grate that, I'm going to add some cheese into our bowl. And I've got a couple of herbs too, which go really well with apple and Sounds smoked good. cheddar. So first I've got some thyme here. I'm just going to strip the leaves off the thyme and add them into our mix. Yep. Make sure we don't get any of the woody bits. Envy apple, see how juicy it is? Really juicy. Yep, yeah, it's I've got quite a trick dense. for that. Yeah. I love that earlier, it's got that nice, really nice fresh juice in it. It's going to help keep our stuffing and our filling nice and moist. I'm actually going to add some breadcrumbs in there to help it sort of keep that juice in there without it going and sort of leaching out of our breast. Yes. So now before all the wind gets it, we're going to put our yes, parsley in as well. Beat the wind. <laughs> and then I've just got here just some onion that I've softened, diced up really finely and softened in the pan, so lightly fried onion. Mm -hmm. With Again, some oil. bit of oil, yeah. pinch of salt. Goes really well with the apple as well. It just helps nice. that, that savoury note will help the apple come out as bright and sweet. Yeah. Do you want to grate in some black pepper? And sure. I'm going to add in some fine breadcrumbs just to mm -hmm. help kind of combine everything and, and bring everything together. And then add a little pinch of salt as well. Now, our cheese is quite salty, so we don't need too much. OK. And that's our stuffing made. Just going to mix it together. Yeah. Really easy. And what the, the breadcrumbs do, you want to make sure you mix them through and coat everything in the breadcrumbs. When that cheese starts melting as well, the breadcrumbs are going to hang onto the cheese too, so you don't oh. lose too much cheese. Some will leach out because that's what happens with anything that's stuffed like this, but hopefully not too much. And now it's just a matter of stuffing our chicken breast. So you can be quite generous with this. Nice big pile of our stuffing in there and really push it in. And you just want to be able to make sure you can shut the chicken breast like that and it's all contained in there, just mm -hmm. like so. Now, and these beautiful envy apples, I imagine you have to grow a lot of them because they're very popular and they're available almost year round. Where do you grow them in Australia? So, the envy apples, most of them are grown in the Huon Valley in Tasmania. Beautiful, pristine conditions. And the great thing about envy is that we've got a number of orchards around Australia and we almost have year round supply of envy. That's amazing. Yeah, you nice. know, it's an apple that's just being discovered now in Australia, but it's already one of the top brands, apple brands in Asia. I like so, that. people are discovering it. And, you know, what's really good is that, you know, you can mix up your apple. Yeah. So you might have jazz during the week and then envy on the weekend nice. because they do have different flavour profiles. Yeah, I like that a lot and I think that's the exciting thing with cooking because even when you cook them you can taste the difference. It's like a, the difference in a, a wine variety, a grape variety. That's it's, right, it's really exactly exciting. right. You know, what's really good is that, you know, you can mix up your apples. Yeah. So you might have jazz during the week and then envy on the weekend. Nice. Because they do have different flavour profiles. Yeah, I like that a lot. And I think that's the exciting thing with cooking because even when you cook them, you can taste the difference. It's like a, the difference in a, a wine variety, a grape variety. That's it's, right. It's really exactly exciting. right. Yeah. Well, I think we should crumb these guys up and get yeah. cooking because we're almost time to eat. That's the bit I'm excited about. But what we need to do, get a little panne station, flour, eggs, breadcrumb. Yeah. Just like making a, a big chicken nugget that's stuffed full of deliciousness. Start with your flour and just get the flour coating it and then... So quite thick? Well, you, you want to pat off any extra flour. Right. So, 
what I'm doing here, just to make sure it's just enough flour to make sure that the eggs stick. Mm -hmm. And then the egg is just enough egg to make sure that the breadcrumbs stick. Yeah. Get any friends out of the breadcrumbs. <laughs> and then just, I just sort of let it drip off. <laughs> yeah. And this is important. The breadcrumbs are the layer that stops mm -hmm. the oil getting to that little pocket, that yeah. cavity. So yep. you're going to really... Breadcrumbs on top. And would normal breadcrumbs work? Normal are you good. Know? You just get better texture yeah. from panko, but normal right. absolutely fine Crunchier. as well. Crunchier. Crunchier yeah. from panko. And all I do here is just really press it down to make sure you get a nice layer yeah. of panko on the top of that. Sure. Or you can breast. make your own breadcrumbs. You can exactly yeah. right. If you've got a bit of stale bread left over, you can make your own breadcrumbs. Well, absolutely. absolutely. We're absolutely all fine. about using things to their potential exactly at Montague. Right. Yep. No. Hundred percent. And that would be a great way to use up a bit of bread that it got a bit tired. Yes. And then I've got a, a pan here on a nice high heat, about 180 degrees. Mm -hmm. Now we'll crumb this one and again just make sure that flour coats and then pat off any excess. Yep. Eggs. And then into our oh, bit more egg on there. And then into our breadcrumbs. Just get a real good coating of our breadcrumbs on both sides. Mm. Just really push it in there. Right. Probably better off with a, a deeper <laughs> dish, a wider dish, but that's fine. These are okay. We improvise quite outdoors. Big chicken bits, <laughs> exactly right. And just make sure we've got a good coating of our good coating of our breadcrumbs, and then we can go straight into our pan, like so. So, Andrew, you're just going to cook this for about six to eight minutes till the chicken is cooked through and it's golden on both sides. About halfway through, flip it over yep. to finish off the other side. We're looking really good. So you can see, and these chicken breasts are beautiful and golden. We've turned them. You can see a little bit of the herbs coming out, but we've still got a nice pocket full of cheese in there. Take this one off. Straight away, we're going to season it with a pinch of salt. Mm -hmm. When you fry stuff, you want salt on it straight away. And then just a bit of paper towel to dry up any excess oil. And then straight onto our plate. And next to you, I've got a little parsley chive and envy salad. So a perfect little yeah. garnish for this to carry through some of that fresh envy apple flavour. And like we said at the start, if you, if you chop it, it still keeps this nice, beautiful, blushing white colour. It does, and it makes it perfect for entertaining platters, yeah. like with cheese, because you like can that. leave it out there and it doesn't oxidise so quickly. It's going to stay that beautiful, yeah. lovely colour. I love the red on it. For me, that's a really nice, flavour-packed, quick and easy dish that you can do for the family. I mean, that's quite a big chicken breast. You can do it with a smaller chicken breast, or yeah. you can cut that in half, serve two people, lovely salad inside. Yeah. And there we have a really quick and simple dish you can cook at home with loads of flavour, all thanks to that lovely Montague Envy Apple. And thank you so much for having us. You know we love coming and cooking here. It's just such a, a beautiful place you have. Oh, our pleasure. Thanks so much for coming.